Hello and welcome to the Greenfoot tutorial videos. My name is Michael Kölling and I'll show you a bit about Greenfoot. Today I will give you an introduction to Greenfoot showing you uh, what Greenfoot uh, is all about. So this is in some sense the first of the videos. It's not the first being produced but it's the one that people probably should watch first if they don't know what Greenfoot is at all. I will just give a very quick run through some of the features of the environment without going into any detail anywhere. If you're interested in detail you can watch some of the other videos afterwards. Um, what I've got here on screen is the Greenfoot environment um, with a scenario already being open. That's my crab world scenario. Greenfoot is a Java development environment aimed at producing very graphical animated applications. So here is my world in the middle of the screen. On the right here is um, a diagram showing s the classes involved in this and so I've got here a crab class. They have already been compiled so they are existing classes. So I can, When I have a class in Greenfoot I can right click on it and I get a menu and the first entry in the menu shows me the constructor for that class and I can select this and interactively now create an object of that class. If I do this I get an image representing this object and I can place it somewhere in the world. Now that my object is here in the world can click the run button and nothing happens. The reason nothing happens becomes clear when we open the editor for this class. If I open the editor for the crab class we see that we have here a method called act but the method is in fact empty. The act method is how you make um, the objects in Greenfoot Act. So if I write something here, if I write move into this method and then I compile this and I place a crab again and then I click the act button the crab, now watch the crab closely, closely moves over a bit to the side. Clicking this act button executes the act method that I've just written here and the run button just is a loop around act so if I click this it just calls act and act, act over and over again and the crab runs over the screen and I can drag it back here and it keeps running. I can also create more than one object so I can put a second crab in there. In fact there's a shortcut for creating object shift clicking this creates objects of the class that is selected over on the right here. Um, now it just gets stuck here at the end. Um, we can then extend this of course I can just say edit turn say 12 degrees. I compile this again create another crab object and now it moves and turns at the same time. I can also add keyboard input so I can ask the Greenfoot environment where the key is being pressed. Every key has a name. Left is the name of the left arrow key so I can ask whether the left arrow key is being pressed and if it has been pressed um, then I turn. Um, if we try that out and I put my crab back in here now it runs and now I press my left arrow key on the keyboard and there it goes. There we turn around. Um, if we want to turn both ways that's now of course very easy to do. I just copy and paste this and say okay if I press the right arrow key then I turn the other way. And I'm at a stage already now after just a few minutes um, where my crab runs and with my arrow keys pressing here my keys on the keyboard I can control the crab and I can make it run over the screen. This can now be easily extended into a, a simple computer game where you know the crab is being chased by something else or you chase something else and so on. Um, that's one of the examples actually um, that we use in our teaching with, with teenagers. Um, absolute beginners to programming. We get them within an hour to write a simple computer game. Um, so that is one of the one of the examples of what you can do with Greenfoot. You can not only do games, let me just show you a few other examples. Um, one of the other sort of, of applications that Greenfoot is really very nicely suited for um, are simulations. What I've got here is an ant simulation. I've got two ant hills here and here and the ants are coming out and there are food sources here and the ants, the behavior of the ants is programmed very very simply here. What they do is they run around randomly until until they find a food source and when they find some food they run back to the anthill and they leave drops of pheromones that's the these white clouds you see here and so here this ant has found something if other ants smell the pheromones they follow the trail and then 
if you get enough of them doing, you get a stable trail forming. And so that is emergent behavior that you can see that comes out of just the group of ants. There's no single um, instruction in the code somewhere that, that is about this path forming that emerges from the um, the sum of the, the ant behavior. So that's a fairly interesting example. It's just, just to show you that it's not only computer games that we're that we're getting at, but anything that uses a two-dimensional graphical output for the application um, is very nicely and easily doable in Greenfoot. Another one 